The energy costs associated with the operation of swimming pools can be quite substantial and one of the main reasons for that is something called latent heat. And just to briefly describe what that is, um, basically you've got water that can exist in three states, uh, the solid state, the liquid state, and the gas state. So as a solid it's ice, as a liquid it's it's just liquid water and as a gas it's it's water vapour. Now as the substance of water moves through these th three phases, heat is either being taken in or it's being given out. So for example if you wanted to look at ice turning from a solid to liquid then heat's got to go in to make that happen. So you'd add, in this case, for this quantity of water, um, eight, eight calories would turn um, an ice cube into uh, liquid. And then it can go even further, it, put even more heat in, um, then you would actually cause all of that water to evaporate and turn into gas, but it takes a lot more heat to do that. So it only took 80 calories to get the change from ice to water, but to um, get that liquid water to change to water vapour, it's 540 calories as opposed to just 80 calories, so a lot more. Um, so heat going in, it works in the other way, in the other direction though. Heat comes out when the water changes from water vapour, when it condenses into a liquid, then uh, heat is being released. So the water vapour had latent heat and when it condensed um, that heat was given out um, at the same rate as it took um, to get the water to change from liquid into water vapour. So 540 calories to get it to change from liquid to gas and then when it changes from gas to, li to liquid exactly the same amount of heat is given out. So it's this part here that concerns us um, as pool plant operators because we've got a lot of liquid water obviously in the swimming pool there's a large surface area and that surface area um, means that there's going to be a constant rate of um, a constant process of evaporation taking place at the surface and that's one of the main reasons why um, the energy costs um, for swimming pools can be uh, so high because it's it's really to do with the evaporation that's taking place at the surface of the water.